heads up that if something were to happen, we would be coming to get Mr. Kubik to you guys to discuss how we're going to move that around. I've anticipated it, and I've, uh, I've got some uh, ideas on how we can be able to attain the people at a uh, minimum cost to the people. Is there a target position or a staff position? My investigator, my victim, my victim's advocate, and one of our prosecutors. All three of those are in I'm optimistic, but if not, I'm also going to plan B. Other than that, we're good. Thank you. Again? Good. Good. Jan? Sorry, I forgot to put this in. I have a request when I met with Tom a few months back because I was told that there was going to be a budget crunch and that nobody should ask for too much stuff, but I would like to ask for a 20-hour a week employee. 20 hours what? 20 hour a week employee. What's up? Part-time. Part-time. Our workload has gotten. Do you have a pay rate you're considering for that 20 hour employment? Ten dollars an hour, like the rest of them. Ten dollars an hour? Yes, like the rest of them. Thank you.
longevity pay and compensation years of employment. My employees have huge responsibilities and are very valuable to the operation of the office and should be paid accordingly. If you look on page three of the handout provided, there are salary comparisons from other counties, some of which have similar populations and some smaller, along with the salaries of the Wilson County Appraisal District employees, none of which pay a salary of under 32,000. I am requesting that the chief deputy salaries be the same, the lead customer service specialist be raised to 30,000, and the customer service specialist be raised to 28,500. Here are some facts regarding salaries. Road and bridge new hires begin at 30,000. Some road and bridge departments provide a cell phone allowance to all their employees. Building and yard new hires begin at 30,000. We have three making this salary and above and don't have any responsibility compared to the employees in my office that deal with millions of dollars in IRA taxpayers. The collection facility employee is making $28,000. A few years ago, there were large increases to the Sheriff's Department salaries, including the clerical positions. However, clerical positions in all other departments were not adjusted. For years, the Commissioner's Court have, has regulated the starting pay of the clerical salaries, and these salaries would not be this low had this not been done. Budgets were reduced when a department lost an employee because the Commissioner's Court regulated the salaries against the elected official or department head to approval. My employees are dedicated, respect, respectful, trustworthy, and honest. I value them and feel you should as well. The tax office has high traffic on a daily basis, and these employees greet everyone with kindness, respect, and a smile. With the amount of responsibility and added stress from dealing with large, amount, large amounts of money, these employees should be some of the higher paid individuals in the county, but instead are the lowest. It's just as hard to operate a computer and learn multiple software programs as it is to operate a piece of heavy equipment. It doesn't make sense that we have employees that are paid to cut grass, clean toilets, take out trash from offices, or manage trash at the collection facility that make more than employees that are required to have a high level of specialized training. It's time to increase the salaries of the employees that keep this county operating. My number two request, which y'all have already um, discussed a little bit about, is the courthouse security. Um, my only request for that is that that if that gets passed, that that courthouse security would be able to pick up my deposits um, on a daily basis and take them to the bank for us. Um, the bailiffs are, are busy um, and sometimes don't get to come to our office. I've had to call the sheriff multiple times to come pick, pick up my deposits. What time, what time do you pay your deposit ready? My deposits are ready by most of the time 8.30, sometimes 9.00. In the fall, when the, the collections are going to be real high, it's going to, it takes us longer to get our deposits ready. Um, we should be able to have them ready by 10 o'clock. But, you know, that's that's counting a lot of money and trying to get everything balanced to, to get the deposits ready. Um, my number three uh, request is my cell phone allowance. Currently, I am getting um, $50 a month, and I am requesting that that be increased to 100 um, I use my cell phone for everything pertaining to my office, um, phone calls, emails. A lot of times I'm having to use it for uh, my hotspot in order to um, get on my computer and do stuff with that. I appreciate you taking the time to hear my request and hope that you will consider each of them.
117, we average probably between 50 and 60, and already that has grown for this year so far. And it looks like we're going to have quite a crowd in 2018. The only issue that I have is please do not refer to my office as the Veterans Administration. <laughs> Go ahead, Edward. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, the VA has a, they're doing a, a, a job that is kind of a dinosaur trying to accomplish something. But veterans and their families are so frustrated with the VA. Honestly, they're not going to come out the uh, world count. So I am not the VA. I'm with the Texas Veterans Commission. And uh, we are the premier probably in the nation taking care of our state veterans. So uh, anyway, if we can make sure that we refer to my office anything else other than the VA, really helpful. Thank you. Well, there's our compensation to I, I can't hear you. Is there more compensation for directing all the people over the dog office to renew the <laughs> She has my name all over the walls in her office. <laughs> and I think that's commendable. It just shows the teamwork. Uh, Jan also has in her, uh, in her <coughs> number of things, but she hasn't yet put my initials in her office, but Jan has put in the Human Resources Office, and I really appreciate that recognition. He sent them to me and then I sent them back to <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I think either precinct four or precinct one is going to buy something for us. What? I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
the Texas Association of Counties 2018 salary review. They do this every year. Constable salary, I'm requesting an 8% constable salary increase. Wilson County pays its constables where they rank 32nd in the lower 25% of, uh, of salary out of the 39 counties that fall into the 25,000 to 49,999 population. And according to the Texas Association of Counties, Wilson County is at 49,000, approximately 250. I forget what that exact number was, but it's right there ready to bump up into the next category. So currently, constables are paid in the lower 25% of the 39 counties that fall into that category. Uh, Wilson County has the lowest average constable salary in the state. The lowest average, not the lowest, but if you take all the counties and average their salaries, add them up, divide them by 254, the average you get is higher than what Wilson County does for constable. The average constable salary for the 39 county population category that Wilson County is in is $36,053.28 or $11,000 more than Wilson County constables make. The average constable salary for the 142 counties smaller, less than 5,000 through less than 25,000, smaller counties than Wilson County is 35,350 or $10,296 more than Wilson County constables. So 74% of the 142 counties smaller than Wilson County have higher constable salaries than Wilson County. One third of the counties in the same population category as Wilson County pay an average of $9,422 per constable for travel and auto allowance. We get $9,600 for our entire expense account. All other elected officials, Wilson County officials, within the same 39 counties, same 39 counties average in the top 32% of their respective positions. Some are paid higher than Counties with populations greater than 100,000. Prior to deciding to run for constable, I was told by three elected officials, three currently elected officials, and one former elected official that if a constable performed his job, the pay would be increased. I believe this agency is exceeding job expectations and certainly any expectations associated with the performance established by this office in the last 12 to 20 years. Next item. It is the constable vehicle, talking about constable vehicles, to eliminate major budget expenses of vehicle maintenance, which reduce the constable's budget rapidly. A program should be established such that the county provides new vehicles on a scheduled basis to constables beginning with the 2019 fiscal year. These could be provided one per year on an as-needed basis until all constables have received one. If a constable rejects same, move on to the next in line. Vehicles should be replaced on a similar basis as sheriff department vehicle, deputy vehicles, using mileage and or age. History has shown three vehicles supplied to constables since January 2017 have either, have either been budget costly or exchanged for a different vehicle due to maintenance. Deputy constables, another subject. Consideration for the approval of deputy constable positions needs to begin now. As this agency continues to be full-time and develops grow and grows in jurisdiction responsibilities and agency assistive functions, the duties and responsibilities will outgrow a single person agency. Agency consideration it is important to note that the county has not had serious full-time working constables for some time, if ever. Therefore, the budget process for this office is a work in progress. The lack of recognition for the needs of and changes required by this working office should not be ignored. So my request, 8% increase in uh, constable salary, and uh, for my budget, $3,000 increase over the single line on the budget that I have now. Any questions? Thank you.
asked for, but I would like to see our cell phone allowance raised from $75 to $100 per month, as we are on call 24-7, and I think that would be equitable. And I also use my cell phone for email and when I have to call the Bear Medical Examiner's Office in the middle of the night or all of these things. I think we use our cell phones as much or more as any other elected official, so I would like to see our um, increase to $100. Also, um, I spoke with Mr. Dutnick about um, custodial staff in my office. I've never had any custodial staff. My clerk and I clean the toilets, wash the windows, clean the floors, and the county finally came, um, Mr. Gomez finally had um, someone come and wax our floors for the first time in six years after many, many asks, and it, it's still not right, so I'm still working on that. So I requested at least $100 a month for someone to come and do custodial. But I've reworked my numbers, and, I'm, and it looks like if I could have a part-time employee for between 15 and 20 hours per week, I would staff that person from 11 until 2 every day, and part of that responsibility would be custodial duties. I would have to find someone who would be willing to do that, and I started you know, looking at putting together a proposal that I could find someone to do that who would do both things for me. So I just want to reiterate the importance of that, how important it is to have a clean office. And to my clerk is already overworked. I'm not going to ask her to stay later, come in early to do that. What I've done now is um, we are open by appointment only on Thursdays. So 8 to 5 on Thursdays, uh, the office is generally closed. Um, and she's busy catching up on paperwork and still answering the phone, but we just try to keep the door closed to foot traffic so we can catch up with things that need to be done. But having done that for a year, we're still not able to stay on top of everything. So having a part-time clerk for just a few hours a week would really, really be helpful. Thank you. Sorry, Mr. Not more than 20 hours a week, and I would try to keep it between 12 to 15 hours a week. I think would be sufficient, but I would like to be budgeted for 20 hours a week, and I would never go over 20 hours a week. At what pay rate? At $10 an hour plus. $10 an hour? Okay. Yes. You said 11 to 2? Yes. Would they, there would not be a lunch break in there? No. It would just be a three hour? Exactly. 15, just a three 15 hour. 15 hour. And I'm looking for someone who maybe has children in school. Someone who's got really good skills, but they don't want to work full time. They've got time to get their kids to school. They've got time to pick up their kids. And if they're going to be sick, I've got time to find somebody, you know, or whatever it is. Or if they have to be gone, that's not a big deal. So it's not going to be, hopefully, anything too egregious or, or heavy.